stood straight up and she said, and here is South Africa's, you've just all witnessed South Africa's next great concert pianist. And I was simply like, who? Who is that? And my music teacher, piano teacher, was leaping around, so excited. But it didn't have the right effect on me. It kind of, could it be so easy to be so good? I came from a very musical ba background and family and my mother sang and my father played wind instruments. And so at school there I was, going along that path of playing also wind instruments, playing the piano. And of course, I, I guess I was quite good. And it dawned on me somewhere along all this process of playing for so many hours in a room, even accompanying other people, that while it brought people joy for just the hour of the concert or hour and a half of the concert, the joy was short-lived. I decided I'd study psychology. I thought this is not fleeting. This would certainly enable me to help other people who might have changes in their lives that they can't cope with. Meanwhile, while I was doing all this studying, I, I was a DJ from 1982. I didn't have much money at the university. Um, somebody had let down. We were having a party at our race and the DJ didn't pitch, so I just came with my music collection. We had um, vinyl in those days and I was a turntablist. And I got quite a lot of parties and I, I was up to be quite the DJ actually. I DJed alongside several famous bands at the time and personalities. I was in a hurry to learn. I was in my thirties already and here I am starting out again on a new pathway of social work and psychology and, and sound engineering, you know. But to me, these fit together. And I was so fortunate because I was doing an internship at Fort England um, Hospital in Grahamstown because that was my um, definite passion in the social work. And at that time they started a group home and they needed someone to sort of put their head in at the group home. And so as part of my community work of the internship, I started at that group home, which is a group home for people who need guidance with medication, or everyday tasks, um, and also therefore can't just live in the community. And I think that group home, alongside what I do now, which is sound technology, um, I ran a studio for very many years and now I teach people how to be engineers, I think has really made me feel the most satisfied because I'm contributing in the sense of psychiatric illness, which is an illness very often misunderstood and I'm able to make those fleeting performances like a portrait on the wall, like a painting, so that they're not just fleeting now. Now your performance is captured for people to enjoy for years and years to come.